Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to new video. So you're probably wondering why uh, there's wires everywhere. What is going on? Why is the fuse box cover off? Well, I've been doing some diagnosing of what was going on with the uh, daytime running light down here. Now, before I got my headlights by Lightworks, um, you know, everything was running fine. I had the C lights on my old headlights uh, running off of a diode dynamic um, harness. Basically, it plugs right into the uh, daytime running light module and it ran off of that. So when you move the e-brake handle either up or down, uh, it would turn the daytime running lights on or off. Now, since I sold my 2017 headlights with the diode dynamic C lights in them, um, I included that harness to the new owner so he was able to, you know, have everything function properly. So after that, I got new headlights from Lightworks, as I explained. Um, and the C lights and everything is a little bit different. It's wired differently, uh, mainly because these are 2020 STI headlights. So internally, uh, Lightworks had them actually wired. So they just turn on with the headlights. Uh, but since I have a 2017, it's a little bit different um, since the C lights are not the designated daytime running light. Normally it's the inner bulb right there. I know this is kind of confusing, but I promise you it makes sense. I've been thinking about this for the past two or three hours. Um, and I kind of went over a whole bunch of different scenarios to see what worked, what was going on, and I found the solution. Now, after I installed the new headlights from Lightworks, um, I noticed that the, the C lights were not turning on um, as my daytime running lights. I can turn them on with the uh, the light switch stock normally, uh, but my you know all the lights would be on basically. So my tail lights and everything they weren't turning on as my daytime running lights. Um, just the strip lights down here. Um, so I got to thinking, okay, I'll just tap into the wire harness for the uh, strip light down here. It'll get power and I'll have, you know, daytime running lights as the strip lights, as well as the C lights. Are you filing? Probably not, it makes sense to me, but hear me out. So what I did, like I said, I tapped into the daytime running light strip uh, harness uh, for my C lights. And then I started noticing that the passenger side over here uh, was flickering. I'll put in a little video for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and it really, you know, I started scratching my head. I was like, you know what? Maybe that one is just going out. So I hit up Subi Speed. I said, listen, you know, I haven't changed anything. What's going on? This one doesn't work. Uh, so they actually sent me over a new light. Um, I plugged this in and the exact same thing was happening. Um, so huge shout out to Subi Speed for warranting their product. Unfortunately, didn't fix the issue, uh, but I do have a spare. So it's nice to have just in case. Um, so I really, really started scratching my head. I started, you know, tracing all the wires, seeing if there was any shorts anywhere. Trust me, I hate electrical work. It is not my forte. I really don't like messing with it. My main goal anytime I do any electrical work is to never touch the OEM wiring. I always touch, you know, aftermarket harnesses and stuff like that. I, that's what I usually tap into. Uh, so if I ever want to go back to stock or if anything happened, I can just replace that simply. Um, you know, as opposed to, you know, OEM wiring, you never really want to tap into that or touch that. So I stay far away from that. So I did just that. I started doing different scenarios. Um, I started plugging in different wires and everything, tapping into different things, seeing if that would work. And I was still having the issue. Um, and then I started thinking, I was like, you know what? I never had an issue before I tapped into the uh, harness for the sea lights. Um, so what I did was basically unplug uh, the C lights from the harness for the daytime running light strip light down here and bam, it turned on full power. So it made me realize that the wiring for that harness is just not strong enough. The gauge of the wire just is not supplying enough power to uh, power both the C lights as well as the daytime running lights. Uh, so I have a solution. So what I'm going to do is actually order, I actually already did, I ordered a new diode dynamic daytime running light harness. So basically exactly how I had it in my um, previous set of headlights where I just plugged right into the daytime running light module uh, and then I ran the C lights off of that. So I'm going to leave the harness for the daytime running lights alone because um, they're working perfectly now and they're just going to be powered on as soon as I turn the car on. And the C lights will just power on just like they used to with the e-brake up or down because uh, they'll be on separate wires, separate power. Uh, so everything will be fully functional, uh, just like how I used to have it. I'm gonna run through the different scenarios that I was doing so you guys get a better idea. Now, I know this is kind of a one-off issue for me just because of you know the setup that I'm running. So maybe nobody has run into this yet, but you never know. So I figured I would document it, show you the different scenarios and kind of what I you know figured out. Uh, because like I said, I've been battling this for the past couple hours and it was driving me nuts. 
Um, and you know, I finally was able to come up with a solution. So let me show you what it was doing and then we'll go through the final solution of how I'm going to resolve this. All right, so this is how I had it wired up. As you can see, the sea lights are on on both sides. Everything is working. Um, and then down here, the strip light is working just fine. Uh, I don't have the passenger side in because I'm, you know, doing some testing, but this is what was happening. So you can kind of see it flickering. Um, obviously, it just is not working correctly. Um, you know, to me, I thought maybe the LEDs were going out and then, you know, eventually it just stops working. So, like I said, my logic behind it was, okay, the LEDs are dying. It's just not working. Um, you know, something must be wrong. So, as I mentioned, I got a replacement from SubiSpeed um, thinking that was the issue. So, I'm going to plug that one in. Uh, to the harness and I'll show you exactly what happened. So now I took out the actual bezel with the light in it uh, and this is the replacement one. As you can see, nothing is happening. So I was really perplexed. I was scratching my head wondering what is going on here. It doesn't make any sense to me. Obviously I have full power on this one. Uh, so it was really scratching my head. Uh, and then I realized the daytime running light, you can kind of see it right there. I have it tapped directly into the module for this. This one, I'm actually running it right off of the extension from that module. Again, I know it may be hard to follow, but you know, this, it took me this long to figure it out. So again, I started scratching my head. I was like, what is going on? This makes no sense. You know, everything has power. Um, you know, I should be getting uh, light to that little bar there. So I started playing around and this is what happened. So the next thing that I did was, as you can see, I have my little wire tap here, which just plugs right into the daytime running light little wire off of the harness. And I noticed I started getting more power. Um, so that started getting me thinking, oh, okay, um, it's just not supplying enough power to everything over here. Um, this side is still fine because it's connected differently. And uh, so that kind of made a light bulb go off in my head and say, you know what? It's not getting enough power on this side, so let me try disconnecting the daytime running light little wire on this side and see what happens. So as you can see, I disconnected the little daytime running light harness there, and bam, the light is working. Oh, that was just, you know, I just kind of running through different scenarios, diagnosing, and I realized, you know, it just was not getting enough power, enough juice from the uh, fuse box over there. So my solution is I'm going to leave the daytime running lights, you know, these strip lights, exactly how they're hooked up. So they are running and everything is fine. They're getting enough power. And then for the actual sea lights in the headlight, uh, I ordered the Diodynamic Daytime Running Light Module Harness. <laughs> I know a very long name, uh, but I'll show you once that comes in what I'm talking about. I, you know, it should be in in a few days, uh, but you know, basically it just hooks right into the little daytime running light harness right here into the plug. Uh, and then I can just run the power to the sea lights off of that. And then I should be good. Uh, but I'm really, really happy I figured this out. I know it probably seems very simple to some people, but again, electrical work and wires and everything, it gets me so confused. I'm not very good with it. Um, and you know, I start to sweat once things don't work the way they should, uh, cause I'm afraid that something is going to, you know, catch on fire and uh, it's just not gonna work right ever again. So thankfully I found the solution. So what I'm gonna do is clean all of this up, put this back in and um, you know, just run the harness uh, to the daytime running lights, clean everything up. And then once the new uh, harness comes in for the sea lights, I'll hook that up and I'll show you how that works in another video. All right, so I got everything buttoned back up. As you can see, I just have the ignition on an accessory mode. The daytime running light strips are on because uh, those are just powered as soon as the car comes on. Um, and then if I go over to the stock and just turn on the running lights, we have the diodynamic C lights as well as the diodynamic strip lights there as well. Um, so those are both running just fine. But like I said, I have a diodynamic daytime running light, C light harness, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have that on the way. So all I got to do is connect it to the little daytime running light uh, module down here, the little plug then just run the wires to either side and tap into those. So they'll just click on as soon as I put the e-brake down um, and we'll be set. So half the time electrical work is very, very simple. It's very, uh, you know, it's kind of a dummy mistake. Um, that was my own fault because uh, I wanted these to turn on with the car and I figured there was power here. Might as well just tap into the harness, but the gauge of the wire is just not thick enough. It's not providing enough juice. So I wasn't able to power everything. That is why I was having the issue with these strip lights down here. So. 
now everything is working fine. Uh, obviously, I just got to get the harness in and then I'll update you guys in another video um, of how to connect all that. Give you a little bit of an update on everything um, just so I can show you everything working properly. And plus, if anybody has any issues like I had, you can follow these videos and figure out and diagnose just like I did and get everything working. So that's all I got for you guys. I know it's nothing crazy, but it was driving me nuts and I figured I'd make a video kind of walk you through everything just because, uh, like I said, it was making me go crazy and I don't want to make anybody go through that like I was going through it. Uh, so hopefully I help somebody out and, um, you know, can relieve some stress for you guys. So if you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.